the tow, tow truck. truck. And I'm sure there's, uh, we're going to see a lot of tow trucks when you're out and about. So if you've not left yet and you're watching us on the news, take your time and leave extra early. And you know what? If you don't have to go out, don't go out at all. Yeah, ODOT's out there. You can see them right there in the middle of the screen as well. So there's certainly police. take your time, everybody. Maybe just kick back and have another cup of coffee. Thanks again for joining us. I'm Mark Zinni. And I'm Melissa Reed. Lisa has the morning off. As you can see there, you know, it's a serious situation outside. Let's go right to AJ. AJ, a lot of snow here today. That's for sure, and uh, I want to mention right off the top, guys. Communities uh, and cities have issued several words of caution in advance of this one-two winter punch we're about to get. And the bottom line here, if you don't have to hit the roads this morning, you certainly don't want to. Take our word for it. It's pretty bad out there right now. Several a man from Strongsville remains in critical condition this morning, a day after a violent crash ripped his car in half. Highway Patrol investigating this crash that happened. All right, well, there's now surveillance video of an apparent drag race involving Justin Bieber and rap artist Khalil Sharif. It's kind of like the Wild Wild West on Pine Tree Drive. Yeah, moments before Justin Bieber was arrested home here at home, Super Bowl Sunday has become a, an American institution. Yeah, that's for sure. But how would you feel about Super Bowl Friday, Saturday, Super Bowl Monday? What? No. Uh, well, this year, folks, we have a football first. The Super Bowl will be in an open air stadium. However, there's a chance for bad weather that could make the game unplayable in New Jersey at MetLife Stadium. That's why the NFL is planning ahead. The league has a contingency plan in place that could move the game to Friday or slide it to Monday. The NFL says the uh, probability of moving the game is pretty small, but it's still scheduled right now for Sunday, February 2nd, and you can watch it right here on Fox 8. And they say that that is the most called off day after the yeah. Super Bowl with people. <coughs> oh, you're getting ready. Oh, but if it's on Monday, <laughs> if it's on Monday now, it's going to look rather suspicious when you call off on Tuesday. Or just extend it. Take a four-day weekend, Monday and Tuesday. I see what you're doing there. Keep that in mind. All right. Well, still ahead, do those traffic cameras make you see red? Well, Cleveland was just dealt a major legal blow after someone took the city to court over them. See if it will impact you coming up. Plus. The best corner in the game. When you try me with a sorry receiver like Crabtree, that's the result you're going to get. Remember that? Richard Sherman putting his money where his mouth is. Find out how much cash his post-game rant will cost him next in Morning Sports. Stay with us. Light cameras in Cleveland are unconstitutional. That's the ruling from the 8th District Court of Appeals this week. The case dated back to a citation issue. Uh -huh. All right, well, there's something new happening in Cleveland. It's a sneaker store in Lakewood that is opened with custom and collectible shoes. But you don't necessarily have to buy them. You could trade for them or even sell your own. Joining us now is Leon Boyd and Anthony Ho, both owners of United Sneakers in Lakewood. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, let's talk about it. What is up with this store? I mean, I saw the I saw the store. It's a great store, but Thank explain you. it to someone. Basically, United Sneakers, we opened up uh, Black Friday, and what we sell is a lot of exclusive sneakers from LeBron's to Kobe's. We also have a few pair of Balenciagas and uh, exclusive Pumas also. Just a large variety of exclusive shoes brought to the Cleveland area. That's awesome. And when I was there, I saw such a mix of people from different ages, different races, just, uh, just a mix of people. What's your clientele been like? The sneaker communities the biggest that has ever been today we have younger kids and we have older collectors from 50 to 60 years old trying to buy jordans and lebrons from us so explain anthony the concept here whenever you talk about like selling your shoes or trading for them or buying them yeah like we eBay? try to yeah no we try to make it less than ebay we want the customers to not pay as much anymore because Kids are paying ridiculous amounts of prices for sneakers right now, and they should not be paying that much. We're trying to make it under the market value, under eBay, and basically the best prices that you could get anywhere in the country. And the best shoes that you can get in the country. You actually have shoes here that have not even hit the market yet. Uh, yes, um, this LeBron Black History Month 11, um, it comes out, out the first. The first. February 1st. The so it's not even out. out. It's yeah. not even out, but you could come to United Sneaker and purchase it. So you have people come in and they can bring their own shoes and yes. stuff. And what ha kind of response have you gotten from the community with Basically, all this? The community has accepted us due to the fact that we we're reasonable. And you know, you go on eBay and this shoe here may be uh, 3, about three grand, but we're, we're selling it for two thousand. Yeah. Very hard so shoe. So it's to basically get. we wanna beat the market value. We wanna make sure everyone's able to wear cool sneakers. You know, it used to be a time Anthony and I used to camp out like six in the morning 
We used to go six in the morning to pick up these shoes. Now people just bring them to us, like these, for example. Oh no, when you talk about shoes, we are talking about a lot. Like this right here is a lot of money of shoes. How much would you say and what's the big one here? Probably about $20,000. The, the most expensive single shoe is this one, is the Miami South Beach, or the Miami Low, Miami Nights. It came out only in Miami. <laughs> only in Miami. And it's here in Cleveland. Yep. yep. And then these are the championship pack, championship pack that LeBron, they were given to LeBron for a second championship that were Nike released for people to buy. These are going for about, like I said, 3,000 on eBay, but we're selling them for 2,000 in our store. That's awesome. And last thing to talk about, I mean, this is all local. You guys yes. are local. Yes, we are. You guys support local. Talk we to do. me about how important that was to you. The main thing, we wanted to open up something in Cleveland and give other sneaker heads and sneaker lovers some, somewhere to hang out. We have a cool store come in, we could talk sneakers all day. You don't feel like an outsider in our store. You would come in, you could be the most famous guy from you know the local celebrities that come in, or you can just be just a regular kid and you wanna just talk about sneakers. You come in, see them, touch them. Some of these shoes are so hard to find, but we give them the opportunity to just come in and see them. And Ant, I know you guys say a lot about cultivating the culture. What does that mean to you and how, and what do you think if somebody comes to your store, what they're gonna take away from it? We want cultivate the cultures mean bring all the races together just from sneakers because it's hard to bring all races together no matter what it is sports or anything but we're trying to bring everything together just from sneakers. All right well congratulations guys okay they are United Sneakers again Madison Avenue in Lakewood custom sneakers here that you're not going to get anywhere else which is pretty incredible you can buy sell or trade your shoes there it's so much easier than eBay, they say. And uh, guys, kudos for you. Thank you. Congratulations Thank you. on the Thank store. You. And this is uh, great stuff. Two thousand, twenty thousand dollars of shoes. Yikes. Exactly. All right, let's go over to AJ with weather. And AJ, um, are you wearing your LeBrons? No, but I'd like to know what a pair of Zinnies go for. What Zinnies? Those are twenty grand large. Yeah. Twenty cents. Twenty. I bet he's wearing Crocs. Boy, am I getting a look. <laughs> show you know he's my number one idol love him yesterday on itunes i saw that he had like a new album kind of an acoustic album so i bought it and then i tweeted my friends uh jen tui and tim richards from new 102 <gasps> because we have kind of this philip phillips crush thing going on just <gasps> saying that i bought it and i was excited i see the tweet right there oh he actually philip phillips tweeted me back and said tweeted i like it you. too i so. just want to toss that you now if Are you like gonna sing along? one direction would tweet <laughs> that's a that's a whole show listen he's the best idol i like kelly clarkson but he's the best yeah, me too that was season 11 he was the winner of by the way which i thought jessica sanchez should have won <clears throat> all right well on that note i just got awkward and thank you for sharing a college student in north carolina <laughs> got an unforgettable surprise at a basketball